Having the airmen around really helped us out with uh, a lot of the design elements on the car. Considering they get to see a fighter jet on a daily basis, unlike us, it really allows them to, to give us design keys necessary to make it look exactly authentic. We're still in the sheet metal phase of this. Uh, we have a lot of work going on outside of the car, but it's not quite ready to go into either one of the cars yet. We're still working on sheet metal, fabrication, exhaust systems, motor work. We still have the metal fabrication on the Challenger. All the dash mounts, the air conditioning in the back, all the battery racks, the mounts for all the components in the back, the speakers, the amplifiers, woofers, and stuff like that. My God, that is the largest tire manufactured to date. This is a 345, 3520. It's the biggest tire that you can buy right now on the market for the street. Like the Viper, now the new Enzo Ferrari is a 335. This is actually 345. This is it. You don't get much better than this. Well, basically what we did here is uh, I finished up putting the, installing the cams, and uh, I'm trying to make sure that everything's running properly. Hey, Greg, what are you doing, man? Hey, Mike, what do you think of this? Wow, I like that. What do you think of that? So far on the Mustang, we've got uh, most of the wide body kit completely done on it. All the engine and performance modifications have all been done to the vehicle. A lot more horsepower, a lot louder, sounds aggressive. This is the sound of my dreams, man. I love this stuff. See, Mike likes wires, I like noise. Yeah! <laughs> what still needs to be done on that Mustang, complete interior. We've only got the seat set in there. It's got to be actually fabricated. The dash, the gauges, the switches, the motorized steering wheel, the rest of the body kit's got to be painted and put on. A lot of the fabrication that uh, is involved in, in building a car to make it look kind of like an aircraft um, is really complicated, actually. Obviously, you got to have everything look like a cockpit in the end. The car is going to have full wireless internet. It's going to have a full computer in there. They're going to actually have working aircraft gauges that are in the cars, whether it's the turning the lights on, the headlights, turning the dash lights on, making the audio work. It's all going to actually integrate with the Air Force style gauges. All new cars, are, they're like very high tech now. Everything's got to be done on a laptop and a computer. Actually, hopefully when the Air Force guys get here in a few days, they're going to help us with the, uh, the, the electronics and the programming of the, uh, the car. So what we did is we actually took the Challenger's front nose grille and brought it to the back element. Kind of gives the, the rear end a little more dimension. Instead of just having a flat, uh, simple exhaust exit, we've eliminated the factory exhaust and now uh, going to reroute it towards the top section. The wheels and tires on this car are the most unique things we've ever done. In fact, nobody's ever done this. And they're completely carbon fiber, one piece solid. That's got to be done. The suspension's got to be done. The exhaust hasn't been done yet. Some of the biggest challenges we have right now, uh, A, time. We're not going to put this thing together, and then these things are not going to work. This is a custom, one-off, high-tech project. You can't get this anywhere other than Galpin Autosports with the team of the Air Force. See, we couldn't have done this without the Air Force guys. Right now, we really need them. Without them, actually, I don't think I can get the car finished on time. 